don't see the solution. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. But I do know one thing for sure. And that is... Inna ma'ya Rabbi sayahdin. Indeed, my Lord is with me and he will guide me through. And when we have that kind of attitude, Allah promises us something. That he will split seas for us. That situations that look impossible, Allah will make a way out. That situations where we don't see a solution, Allah will give us a solution from places we never imagined. Whoever puts Allah first, taqwa, whoever has God consciousness, whoever focuses on Allah first, whoever guards themselves from the wrath of Allah, who makes Allah first, Allah will make a way out for them. And he will provide for them from places they never imagined. Have you guys ever been in a situation that looked hopeless before? Have you ever been in a situation that, that you couldn't see a way out? Have you ever felt trapped? See, Musa alayhi salam was put in this situation. Many of us, you know, I mean, obviously, none of us are probably going to ever be stuck in front of a giant body of water with a giant superpower army behind us, right? But then why is Allah telling us this story if it's not relevant? We won't be necessarily in front of the Red Sea, but we will be in situations where we feel trapped. We will be in situations that look hopeless. We will be put in situations that we don't see a solution. And we think, okay, what am I gonna do? And when we are in, put in that situation, Allah is teaching us how to see through. So Bani Israel is seeing the Red Sea and is seeing the army and that is where their focus is. You know when you're in a situation and if you focus on the problem itself, that's all you're gonna see. If you focus on the barrier itself, if you focus on the obstacle itself, that's all you're going to see. And it becomes bigger and bigger and bigger in your eyes. It actually starts to grow. You know, if you, if, it, it's this amazing thing about the psychology of a human being. If you focus, I want you to imagine for a second there's a wall in front of you. The more you focus on that wall, the more it gets bigger. The more you focus on the wall, the higher it gets, the bigger it gets, until it actually surrounds you. And you will see no way out. And the reason why, by the way, that's an illusion. It's an illusion. The reason that it looks that way is because you're focusing on the barrier. You're focusing on the block. You're not focusing on Allah. You're focusing on the barrier itself. And so the barrier looks bigger and bigger. And that's exactly what Bani Israel did. They were focusing on the Red Sea. They were focusing on the army. And so they were hopeless. They felt very afraid. They were scared. And it had to do with the focus of the heart. Are you focused on the block? Are you focused on the barrier? Or are you focused on something else? Now what's so powerful is you see the comparison the contrast of Musa alayhi salam's focus and then his response. Qala kalla. He said, nope. Kalla is like a very emphatic, no way. <laughs> no, nope. They said, we will surely be overtaken. He said, no. And why is it that Musa alayhi salam said no? Why was he so certain? Why was he so sure? Was it because he's really strong? Is it because, is it because, you know, oh, guys, don't worry, I got this. You know, he didn't say that. He didn't say, I have this nifty staff, you know. He wasn't in the habit of, of splitting seas. You know, this didn't really happen every day. It's not like he knew what was going to get him out of this situation. He had no idea. It's not like he knew how he was going to get out. And yet he was certain that Allah would get him out. Why? Because Musa salam wasn't focused on the barrier. Musa salam wasn't focused on the obstacle and the block. He was focused on Allah. And he knew, Inna ma'ya Rabbi sayahdin. He said, by no means will we be overtaken. Why? Because indeed my Lord is with me and he will get me through this. That's all he needed. All he needed to do was see Allah in this situation. All he needed to do was shift the focus of his heart. Shift the focus from the block, from the barrier, from the obstacle, from the problem to Allah. And all of a sudden, literally Allah opened the sea for him. And that is because he had the proper focus. And he knew, and he put his trust in Allah. And he said that my Lord is with me 
and he will guide me through. And that's exactly what Allah did. You know, it's very easy to put our reliance on Allah when we see the way out, when we know already the solution. You know, it's easy to be like, yeah, 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 I put my trust in Allah, but here's the plan. <laughs> you know, it's like, this is going to happen, then this is going to happen, and we already have the whole thing planned out. We know exactly what's going to happen, and then we say our, our trust in Allah, right? That, that's pretty easy. But what's really hard is when we have no idea what's going to happen. What's really hard is when there's complete insert uncertainty. What's really hard is when we have no idea how Allah is going to get us out. We have no idea how the solution is going to come. We have actually no idea what's going to happen after we take this step. It's, it's an unknown. It's the unseen. But that's what tawakkul is.